Bannon served in the Navy, attended Harvard Business School, and worked in investment banking. He is the co-founder of a nonprofit called the Government Accountability Institute, which has funded, amongst other projects, the book Clinton Cash. Steve Bannon was one of the most powerful people in the White House. It's a breathtaking rise for someone whose job before joining the Trump campaign was CEO of Breitbart News, an ultra-conservative and highly controversial website. We don't really believe there is a functional conservative party in this country. We certainly don't think the Republican Party is that. Political entrepreneur entirely outside of the Republican hierarchy labeled a lying, vindictive, abusive champion of white nationalists. I've waded through his many movies and speeches, and in these he does not come across as a racist or white supremacist, as many people have charged. Steve has, has always wanted, in my opinion, to be very close to, to power. He's, he's latched on to politicians ranging from Michelle Bachman to Sarah Palin to media figures like Andrew Breitbart and now to Donald Trump, and so he's gotten what he wants. And I think Steve is a very smart player. I think he's a very vicious player. Smart, considerate, um, interesting. It's pretty dark here in Europe right now, but there's something actually much darker, and that is Islam. Right. I mean, Christianity is dying in Europe, and Islam's on the rise. Let's talk about that. Why are you going through all this thing on vetting? Why even let them in? The opportunity cost to put in a structure to actually vet these people, the cost to do that, to what end? Can't that money be used in the United States? I mean, I think the issue is, should we just take a pause and a hiatus for a number of years? We uh, tend to look at this imperial city of Washington, this boom town, as um, they have two groups or two parties that represent the insiders commercial party. And that is a collection of insider deals, insider transactions, uh, and, a, and a budding aristocracy.